Hey everybody, I'm John Swantek. Welcome to Direct Connect on PGATour.com, where you guys, the fans, get to ask the questions and connect directly with PGA Tour players through our social media platforms. This week's guest has certainly authored one of the most inspirational tales on the PGA Tour as a two-time heart transplant recipient competing on the tour as a rookie at the age of 32. We say hello to Eric Compton, who joins us from Dallas, site of this week's HP Byron Nelson Championship. Thanks for the time, Eric. How are you feeling these days? I'm feeling great. Just happy to be here in Dallas and play on some uh, familiar grass that, that we have in Miami. The Bermuda is great. All right, we'll jump right in. We had a lot of questions uh, from fans uh, for Eric Compton this week. First one comes through the tour report on PGATour.com from Radio Liberty. It says, Eric, you're an inspiration, and the parents that raised you should receive medals for what they instilled in you. When you close your eyes, what have you been visualizing to get yourself through all of what you've been through? Well, that's a great question. I think, you know, as a parent uh, now, my parents uh, obviously um, had to stop their lives and, and put me in the, in the front there. Um, you know, it's always hard to go and see a sick child uh, as a parent to go through uh, what I went through. Um, you know, my family and friends, we trusted that the doctors had the right decision. And, you know, we went forth with it. I was one of the first to have my transplant at Jackson Memorial Hospital in Miami in 1992. Um, and it was a scary time, but you know, looking back, uh, you know, I learned quite a bit, and uh, it was just very exciting. Eric's condition, by the way, known as viral cardiomyopathy, which inflames the heart muscles, restricting the organ's ability to pump blood. That's what necessitated two heart transplants, one at the age of 12 back in 1992 and a second in 2008. Eric, by the way, is now involved with an organization called Donate Life America, and you've got an educational program that's being called Play Through with Eric Compton. Tell the folks about it. Well, I've teamed up with Genentech, uh, one of my main sponsors, and we're trying to um, you know, talk about donating life. We do a lot of work uh, at home uh, with the Transplant Foundation that I'm involved with. We try to raise awareness, um, talk to schools, talk to kids about signing up to be an organ donor without uh, the gift of life, I would never be here. So I feel, you know, it's something very dear to my, dear to my heart, and and dear to my life, dear to my family and friends. Um, and I want to share that with people. You know, I want to share that. Uh, obviously, I'm able out to be out here on the tour and competing and playing and living a normal life. My purpose out here on tour uh, is a little bit more than just playing golf and and trying to keep my card or win golf tournaments. It's just great to have a lot of young players that look up to me and, and know what I've been through and know the importance of, of donating life. Eric Compton, our guest this week, winner of the 2011 Mexico Open on the Nationwide Tour. Next question comes through Facebook from uh, one of Eric's fans, Colin Burwinkle. Very simply put, if you weren't a golfer, what would you be? <laughs> uh, well, I, you know, I'm good with my hand and eye coordination. Um, you know, now that uh, I uh, have a small house in Coral Gables. I love to do yard work, so handy with my hands. So maybe I would be outside doing something. I love being outside. As a young kid, I put all of my eggs into playing golf and, and also into rehabilitating. So it's hard to tell what I would uh, have ventured into, maybe teaching. Um, you know, whatever I, I, uh, I got myself into, I, you know, I just, I went at it 100%. Eric, fully involved with the 2012 PGA Tour season. 12 events so far this year, 123rd in FedEx Cup points. Best finish tie for 26 at the Honda Classic. A couple more for Eric Compton. Richard Roman through Facebook has a question for Eric. Being someone like you, he says, who has a heart condition, although not a transplant, what type of diet do you follow to keep your strength and energy on the course? What would you suggest for Richard there? Well, I think, you know, with diet and exercise, um, you know, it's important with anybody who has a heart issue um, to come up with a game plan with your doctors as far as what to eat and how much to exercise. Uh, as for me, I try to obviously travel a lot, drink a lot of water is, is key for me, taking uh, medications and, and staying hydrated in the sun and, and then try to eat, you know, four or five times a day. And, and I seem to burn a lot of calories when I'm out there. So constantly little snacks, granola bars, nuts, fish, vegetables, chicken, um, you know, just basically a heart healthy diet. Eric, there were so many uh, fans who just wanted to weigh in, not necessarily with a question, but just their thoughts, their feelings, uh, to express their gratitude for the role model you've been for them. And we'll close with uh, one more here. 
Comes through Facebook for Eric Compton from Trevor Spade, who says, I don't have a question, just a statement. You're truly an inspiration to anyone with an illness and even more of one to those who do not. To be one of the elite golfers in the world after going through hell and back is amazing. It makes me believe that anything is possible. Thank you. That's pretty cool, Eric, and it pretty much says it all, doesn't it? <laughs> That's pretty neat. Thank you. We appreciate your time as well. The organization is called Donate Life America, a new educational campaign play through with Eric Compton. Five tournaments this year where they will be raising awareness of organ donation beginning this week in Dallas at the HP Byron Nelson Championship. Eric, we wish you continued good health and good luck as your season continues on the PGA Tour. Thanks for connecting with us. Thank you.